here we go folks just gonna make a little video showing my all my um my updates on my iridology in the last um in the last two years so i'm going to share pictures now in a minute of in a moment well you've already seen them maybe <laughs> sorry of um i picked my irises from like years and years ago it could be 10 years could be 15 years ago i don't really know to be honest It's like murky and dark and yellowy browny, just overall duller. And now, then one from January into the year 2022. Just two years ago, which is like much, much brighter and bluer, and uh, kind of light blue with a lot of white on it as well, which is like lymphatic. All the colors outside of blue are lymphatic, lymphatic congestion, waste from eating cooked foods and omnivore food for the first 24 years of my life eating vegan and raw vegan for the last uh, 18 years now and um, in January I started so 18 years so yeah I read the and switched to vegan diet and raw vegan like basically all in January <laughs> and then I took um, pictures today um, which is like January the 28th I believe so you can see in the most recent picture that it's um it's much less white so it's much more blue and darker blue sort of fuzzy and dogs crossing the road <laughs> so yeah I um, hope you know what to say like you know I highly encourage everyone eating a raw vegan diet as much as possible even if it's like two thirds of your diet or three quarters of your diet all your diet is the best by, by far but it's up to you to see where you how you're feeling mentally emotionally physically spiritually and um, it'll help bring up emotions that you're suppressing um, and distracting yourself from when you eat lighter or take a break from eating even if you just like eat or drink nothing for let's say one and a half two hours after rising in the morning that will and, and if you don't like go on your phone and just sit with yourself that's what i did today in the car and i did some tapping and it helped release some tears three times like i was doing hanaponopono like i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you towards somebody i love and care for and i felt a bit, a bit of guilt towards um, it was my wife because I, I, I went off but I just you know I was hoping and thinking and feeling hoping she'd be okay with the kids and she nearly she pretty much mostly always is but I just, just I you know I had some other like some, oops where the heck am I going suppressed feelings this is where I'm going <laughs> um, but yeah just other stuff like struggling life finding it hard finding like a bit of strain on me like just finding it hard recently and it felt a little bit like Yeah, I won't get into all that, so it's a little bit like, you know, bogged down. So yeah, fasting and eating lighter releases, helps us to feel our emotions, you know. Um, but yeah, I highly encourage everyone to eat a raw vegan diet. You want to feel your best, be your best, and you deserve to be your best in the year 2024 and beyond. Just be your best. Switch to a vegan diet, switch to a raw vegan diet especially. Raw vegan diet is where the real power and healing is. But if you need to have a bit of cooked vegan food, go ahead. It'll like take you over emotionally mentally so it's not like too much of a sudden change but listen you can do it I encourage everyone to join my group you can get some support on spiritual healing mental emotional and physical as well as changing diet and just overall healing from past trauma past wounds and um, where am I going next one healing from childhood trauma shadow work relationship health relationship uh, empowerment and self-awareness you, uh, you click on the link below or in the first pinned comment so in the description or the first pinned comment and you can receive my two gift books and two free gift video courses as well and a free monthly workshop so I'd love to have you aboard and see you there and yeah this year I'm gonna be is this this the year where I'm gonna gain muscle gain weight gain muscle mass gain strength and uh, yes, yeah, keep on track. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. So I don't miss any on YouTube. And um, as also be the year where I'm gonna like keep more track of my iris. I'm gonna do another iris update in another six months to show from my all raw vegan diet update. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling amazing, and I highly encourage you all to do that. So lots of love, and always work on your own self healing because that's what it's all about. That's the spiritual life is the truth of the life. And you deserve to be your best mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, socially, creatively, and relationally in your relationship. Have a soulmate relationship type of experiences out of a trauma bond and uh, all this in my books and video courses i look forward to seeing you there 
in a nice, happy, positive, safe community to uplift, inspire, and support each other and um, learn from me. I'll be your, your coach, your mentor, your teacher. And I keep up to date with learning and growing and in myself from other mentors as well. So I'm always staying up to track. So lots of love. Hope to see you there. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. My name is Owen Fox and I look forward to seeing you there and have a great day. Thank you, Lord, for the food. Thank you, Lord, for the family. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life. <laughs> So yeah, just to be clear, like some people asked me uh, today, like what's that all mean about the Irish? So I'm just adding on to the part of the video. So, so yeah, like just to give a very quick brief uh, rundown on um, iridology. You're either born with a blue eye or, or like a brown eye. The reason you're not born with like you don't have a natural like innate basic foundational yellow eye or green eye or or like pale brown eye that that. Usually it's a dark brown. That's typically people who are like, you know, African-American, like, you know, that type of thing. Whereas white people typically not always have a brown, uh, a blue eye. So I was born with a blue eye. But as you can see through my eyes, is like as we eat food, especially like cooked food, but especially omnivore, like meat, dairy, ice cream, uh, cheese, yogurt is coming from animals. That has a very high anacidic uh, residue, a lot of metabolic waste from trying to process and um, digest um, animal sourced food you know so like and cooking is by far the worst the only thing is if you have raw meat and dairy which is way more nutritional and far healthier you're going to be ridden with more parasites so it's a lose-lose situation cooked mood is cooked cooked animal products dangerous basically speaking especially in the long run you're really harming your body and your health seriously and whereas raw meat you're definitely gonna have way more nutrition you'll always have way more nutrition from having raw food raw living food from nature that's what all the other billions of species do they eat raw living food so when we do that it's our natural diet to eat a raw vegan diet uh, you can agree with that or disagree with it but the bottom line is the results are the same when we clean in our body and we stick to a raw vegan diet and we get over the hump of a potentially a few year, years worth of detox symptoms where we may lose weight or look look not the best. We're, we're like going through withdrawals where we may look like a, like somebody withdrawing from drugs, like almost like withdrawing like from being an addict, which cooked food is extremely addictive. We will temporarily like not look our best, but at the same time, at least we're getting better instead of getting worse. And there's many doctors who are like proper doctors who will agree with this. The, the symptoms are not the disease. The disease is deeper down, but the symptoms we go through, like cold flu, that's actually your body healing. That's a detox symptom. So it's like when you pull out a big, when a thorn is being stuck in us and it's being covered by hard skin, it may not be bothering us too much. We may not really notice. We have some ill health symptoms or we feel uncomfortable. But when you open it up and pluck it out, it's going to be really sore. That's what cold flu symptoms are. And other like symptoms of disease, like rashes. That's all like your body trying to detoxify acids and putrefying waste and chemicals. So yeah, um, basically speaking, what this all means is when our irises are changing color, that's a sign of we're getting less toxic and less trash and buildup of old waste and putrefaction and and worms and and like candida and parasites and acids and chemicals. So when it changes back to the original color you were born with, then um, so so for example, you can see my brown and my green. Uh, and, and the yellow is disappearing and I'm just left with, and the white disappearing too eventually and then you're left with the blue. And some people even have black, which is like death of cells. And um, brown or little specks is like little pockets of toxicity or, or drugs. Like my friend is that today. I did his iridology too. I took his picture. So I must take you to, I put in his uh, iridology here too, if he doesn't mind. And, um, yeah, the strength, of the, the straightness of the lines indicates um, your constitutional strength. Not your genetical expression, like you're different than other people's, or even your genetical um, wellness. But constitutional strength is like the strength and fitness of your cells. So you're born with that, and it's hard to reverse that. I and mean, we can weaken it sometimes with like extreme toxic exposure or like long term, like poor diet, like cooked omnivorous diet. But when it's like our 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 eyes should be a bit like a wheel of, of a bicycle and we should have straight spokes so you can see in mine is all squiggly it's like it's being like squashed or hammered from the outside it's like the spokes have been <laughs> and when you do that you get like these like, little lacuna like little, these little things and that's a sign of like constitutional weakness not genetical weakness exactly but your constitutional strength 
So yeah, um, that just makes it harder in life physically. But I feel that's all the souls wish to have a certain blueprint and certain idea and certain lessons in life. So also squiggly is a bit more like inter extroverted type of personality and openness. And I'm very open and extroverted, so I'm not sure how much that all ties in. But I do know I definitely have a lot of like certain certain degrees of like weaknesses to work through as well, which I physically have to deal with in life. So I have to be extra like careful and look after myself. Whereas other people with a strong constitution can get away with that. So yeah, that's that's the lowdown. So I hope this video helps. Lots of love. Thank you for watching. My name is Owen Fox. Love being your coach and mentor. So if you please, if you're interested in physical, physical diet, health, wellness, well-being, um, balanced fitness, and and as well as detoxification and fasting or juice feasting but especially also self-empowerment, self-awareness, healing from past trauma and triggers, PTSD, complex or childhood PTSD, um, or doing shadow work, creating the best ever life for yourself, having the best ever relationship for yourself, the best ever health for yourself, having the greatest day for yourself and having the most magnificent year and the most triumphant, glorious life for yourself, just click on the link in the description below and join my free group to get two free books and two free video courses and a free monthly workshop and i'd love to have you on board and it's a great community of like-minded souls and spirits to celebrate and grow and learn together with me being your teacher your coach your health your health and your mentor and for to learn from so and there's also community to intermingle and exchange and exchange value and just to like, you know, just to be part of, so you're not alone. Because when we do things alone, we usually fail. So this is a lovely group of supportive people. So I'd love to have you there. Thanks for watching. Uh, lots of love and wishing the best day ever and the best life ever. <laughs>